Ahí tienes una astilla que no miras. Sí, aquí, aquí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Si algo te estorba, ¿a dónde, ¿a dónde te va a estorbar? Pues en esa mierda, ¿verdad? Ahí está. Beautiful. Clávale. No, no, clávale tú de ahí para acá. Clávale bonito allá en la, en la orilla, güey. Oh, you gotta pump all that water out? Yeah. It's nasty looking. Looks good, the pool. Yeah, it does. It came out really well. Uh, next, we're just gonna run plaster over it. Plaster, tile. Probably finish up the plumbing. When we first sprinkled it, it was nice and clear. It looked like pool water. Um, oh. Got to get some of the, uh, some more of these rocks down at the bottom cleared out, uh, and then we're gonna run uh, rebar through it and uh, pour a base for the uh, retaining wall. And then uh, a few weeks later, we'll, or a few days later, we'll probably. What do you guys got going on today? Uh, I'm gonna finish forming up down there on the dock. Finish warming up and then tie some rebar. That's really about it. And then probably after lunch we're gonna go to the other job site. I just told Robert to finish warming up down there. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. we'll wait till we get the dump trailer to do the rest of it down to the other side. Yeah, have you called him? I don't know. I think it's tomorrow we can get it. Yeah. Uh, what up, Mikey? Justin. Should I go down the hill like this or like that? Like this and like that. Yeah. Like this and like that? I'm saying. Put that down if you start to tilt forward. Use the bucket as a counterweight. Yeah, yeah. Behind so you. I don't want to go backwards, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. What boys. are you going to do with that down the hill? Uh, we got to go get the welder. Oh, and the skid skids yeah. over yonder. Yeah. I don't. I'm not positive this thing can handle it. Wow, so that thing's down a couple inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been draining all morning. Or I don't know when they started well, it. I set it up, I set it up like, in, uh, like 30 minutes ago. Okay. It pumps, uh, it says 20 gallons a minute. Dang. Yeah. Well, hey, um. Watch so, this window. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, that water doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's pristine <laughs> water. What do you mean? Well, hey, guys, let me hit, hit you guys up while I got you, because I only got about an hour or two. Um, um, right now, I got the granite guys coming to take measurements in the garage. Okay. Propane guy is going to be here shortly. Uh, oh. Maybe next week, um, we're going to have uh, one of the septic crews are going to come up here. Okay. And so just real quick, if they do show up, um, tanks in the front, you know that. The drain field is down here. And so we'll, we'll put in all the plumbing okay. we need to do and all that. So I'm gonna get steel and stuff ordered, uh, fives and number threes. Uh, the number threes are actually gonna use on the dock and we're gonna use um, for part of the Franklin's um, mesh, you know, for the yeah. work we're gonna form up. And then we'll use um, fives for their foundation beams like the plans call for. Okay. So, <laughs> there's that. Um, 
So, over the next couple weeks, um, if we can get that wall with the steel in there. Okay. So what we gotta do is go there and just kind of pull out rocks by hand and shovel it. And then, uh, so we'll excavate the Franklins, bring in material tomorrow. Okay. And uh, get a compactor tomorrow morning. Okay. Compact it, and then use the mini to dig the beams for it. Cool. Okay. And that's okay. that's the big plan yeah, on that. Yeah, are we gonna do the fill, compact it, and then dig the beams like we yep. did here? Yeah, okay. I think that's, that, right. that's the best way to do it. Because yeah. what happens is you'll, you'll over overfill and over compact. I'd rent the uh, trailer for a week. Okay. okay. Um, he's got just, one today, but he, he he doesn't have time. He's got a, a flat yeah, tire or something. Uh, I was so, saying yeah. if he wanted to like maybe offer to change the tire okay. so we can get it. Um, I'm gonna head over to to the Franklins here shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, their dock, they want a new top on it. Okay. So um, I was like, we just got rid of all that pipe. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> all right. No. Uh, so he, he's gonna do a concrete dock, and I don't want to be in the dock business, honestly. But I figured uh, it's a 625 square foot top, and so I, I'm gonna look at ordering wood and us reskinning it for him. Just a okay. flat platio across the top. Yeah, that's it. That's it. it. Shouldn't be too easy. Bad. Easy. Yeah, uh, shouldn't be too bad at all. Mike. No. Yeah, Robert's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd have to tear that off and haul that off. So we'd probably get a dumpster trailer over there and all that. And that, I'll ask him, but I don't think we're not gonna be driving across the stuff. So it's a lot of hand jamming. So I'm gonna tell him like, well, it's a lot of labor, you know. I mean, it's, it's what it comes yeah, down to. We can put plywood down make a road across there so that's yeah. probably a good way of doing it yeah that's, um that, that's that's carpet grass so it'll it's already laid down good anyway so. robert have you been down by the dock did they did all my paint go get washed away that uh curve uh, the ones coming up that's pretty it's a it's a it's a sharp turn so just to let you know that's steep you know what i mean that, so, so we're gonna have to scrape it down bring it down and pull the uh, fill around to kind of raise it up, so, so we, just okay. you know, the more you go down on this side, it's gonna be steeper. So yeah, you know what I mean. I know you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'll figure out something Soon. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Right there is a bathroom, it's a six by six. Yeah. We're gonna take that out. Yeah. And we talked about him putting the stairwell coming on up. So he's gonna put a landing uh, platform right there. Okay. Because you gotta make that turn and come up. Yeah. And he may not have enough height to make it before he gets to the hallway here. Because that's pretty steep, right? Yeah. So he may do a couple steps going this way then up. Which okay. really works well for that window being right there. It's like yeah. you planned it. Yep. Even yeah, though the bathroom is under this yeah. So it's gonna come on up and access doors here and there. Because we're gonna put the air conditioning units. Sure. So what do y'all think? So right now, the roof, this is the, obviously the roof line, right? The roof line would come along here too. The glass is from here to here. Should we leave it just glass? Or should we put a door on it and make a patio? And it'd be, so you, now you have a, a wall of glass, wall to wall glass, you know, but you do see the railing out there instead of just a pure glass. What do you think? I like the rail. Yeah. I like the balcony. I mean, yeah. I said in this four, that's yeah. a small amount of time and money to put well, you. To the framing crew, it's no different because uh -huh. they're going to frame out. All they need to do is make sure they put a little downslope on it, and then uh, when we frame it up, the roof comes down. We'd have to put like a, uh, I don't know, call it like a little ridge so the water stays in, and then we would tile all that. But it's uh, it's a, it'd be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, crow's nest up, oh, up there. You go to the fifth floor? Yeah. yeah we can't go <laughs> <laughs> Matt, we're out. I think that one. I mean, obviously, He's it looks like that He's got the house one. numbers. Oh, so. okay. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Uh, don't mess it up. You almost out of the road. Almost. I'll get the gate open. I 
mean, we're tearing up all this. I don't know if we'll just go straight there or what, what he wants to do before we go around. Yeah. I think the kitchen's in the back. And our, well, I don't know where the main plug is. Matter, wherever the tank is, we can figure out a way to get a line to yeah. it, even if it's going around the house. So this Believe doesn't me. automatically already, it, these are all propane houses? No. Is this one gas? Or well, I, apparently this is electric because they don't have a tank now. So Mike, none of these houses have any city gas. It's no no gas whatsoever. No, it's not a There's gas no city. city. And nothing here. Gotcha. No. Uh, you're so right there, you gotta be gas. Yeah, if you got to you gotta be on propane if you want gas. Yeah. Gotcha. See, so we have a tank. We run. Aren't you special? If we put the tank up front, you can run your lines yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Anywhere. Because yeah. it's just a little yeah. line. Well, we're just, just like, like I said. Yeah, yeah I didn't know about the hundred foot hose deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to fill it up. Yeah, I'd, I'd put the tank up front, and I'd uh, if, if he's wanting to hook it up back here, that's no problem. But yeah, we just got to sleep. Just it. make sure it gets slaved anywhere that you're going to put flat work on it. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah. sounds like a plan. Okay, so I'm sure Doug will be here in a second. He'll he'll, he'll get into detail again with you. You're going to say it like the fifth time. Go cool. <laughs> put up the four by four, Mike, six by six. There's your house. I call dibs. You got it, bro. I get the metal though. <laughs> Fifteen people come to see me all at once. All right, so uh, I'm the pretty. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> what do you? Uh, so you guys went over the, kind of the propane here. What we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, in the front. Mm -hmm. So off the side is, is his main uh, uh, power, and so he wants it for a generator and all that. And he wants me to put in a. Uh, all he's going to do is run it for his generator and maybe run it for his. Uh, uh, he wants me to put a, a line in for his uh, like an island uh, cooktop. Oh, fun. oh no, it's gonna be real tough. So he's got septic everywhere um, over here. He's got fields over uh, lines in the ground here. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know how close you can do it to the property line, but it's probably somewhere over here out of the way. Ten feet, bro. Ten yeah, feet ten. from electrical. Ten feet from property line. And ten feet. Six from the feet house. from overhead. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying this is gonna be tricky. Yep. So it can't be here. So somewhere over here maybe. Yeah, I'm mean, All right, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him and see what he wants to do. But he wants to, we want to run a line. I, I want to this. If, uh, if we know what's going on, we can always run a line shallow and sleeve it. Mm -hmm. It's got to be 12 inches or sleeved. Okay. Uh, and then anywhere that it crosses flat rock or anything, it has to be sleeved no matter what. Depth. Best you can, mark out. Uh, if, okay. if we come in doing any digging, they won't let us sink a shovel anymore unless the electric, underground electric in the area is marked. Okay. Yeah, we'll call the dig line. So somewhere around here, and then we want to run an underground line over there and, and tie into the house. So that's going to be a trick. Is there any code rules that say you can't run a line through the foundation? Yeah, you sleeve it. You got to. Yeah, yeah, you have to sleeve it. I mean. Yeah, of course. Other than that, no, it's all. You, you do any sort of. Uh, foam or insulation on it to kind of make sure there's no voids or anything or no no you, uh, you want it to be where if it has to be pulled back out okay um, you can tie on the other end and drag drag a line back through okay oh that's rude you're telling mom that's before you like that. all right you got one in the car and get it oh. eh, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah there's no no way it was set since anybody really started carrying it yeah you couldn't get set one in here they wouldn't let you do that so it'd have to be 10 feet over, and the property line is probably right here, actually. Right where the water meter is. I mean, we could turn it. Yeah. Bury one right here. Okay. Wouldn't I, I don't think the septic comes up that far. The tanks are right here, obviously. Just once okay. again, you'd have to put something up to protect the dome on the tank. Okay. Well. You know, yeah. since that job, actually good over 71 miles. I gotta get going here okay. to the airport. Um, but uh, you guys want to run them by the Sanchez property, and uh, is uh, the tank where that one would go is over towards the um, if you're looking down towards the water. It's off to the left. Okay. Uh, that's where the tank. It'd just be off the side of the house, property line. It's a good okay. option. So take it down six. At least six, six to twelve. Okay. And kind of, until you find some real sandy material, because you're gonna get off this clay. Yeah. yeah, and, and then we'll have to put up some bad boards over here so we can 
Yep. Build that up. Yep, yep. So okay, you see, up. it's getting, it's gonna, the foundation is getting deeper and deeper. Yeah. Um, and eventually, as it turns the corner, it's gonna be, it's gonna the, be the same good. height. Yeah. With that porch, and so this area is high, and then it's high all along here. So, so the garage, I think, is about this tall. So maybe take it down a little bit, but we can we can bring the fill in and compact it so you have your your typical six inch thick concrete. So just mainly take probably from here back, kind of leave this. And alone. the foundation is going to sit on this ledge right here, uh, all the way up. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring the laser level over. Looks like, yeah, it's going to be on top of that little ledge right there too, the very far ledge. That's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Cool. Okay. Nice so we'll be building key. this up. Run your batter boards. What's nice is they put the lines in for you. Doing the deck too? This thing. Oh, we're doing oh, this. Oh, I thought we were doing this. Oh no no. He he wants he don't want he didn't want that mess with. Okay. So wait, he wants the four. He just wants this. No. He wants a concrete dock, but he wants this replaced. He says it's collapsing, which actually I think is it's actually really good shape. Wow, this is a uh, this is really good shape. Yeah. Oh hang hang on here's that one. Oh there you go, it's over. Yeah. Yeah, they, they all got to go. Well, here's another one here and another one here. Okay. You know, so. Awesome. I got two by tens. Yeah. Are they in good shape? Um. Yeah, they don't look bad. So we can reuse those. Oh wait, hold on. What do we got over there? Yeah, they're. I mean, they look in good shape. There's something weird in the middle. I think a pipe's totally rusted through. There's a. Oh, they came and reinforced it. It's there. It's wood and metal posts. Yeah, they just got two by ten, and they're running like probably ten feet. Okay, I think those are good. They look all right. They're covered with spider webs, but they, they look good. So I guess we we'll just take it off and then see what if what needs to be replaced. Go as soon as we get it fixed, we're looking at about two to three right? days. It's in Murder Yeah. And then we have another one after that. Yeah, but uh, the, the first one is, is more, this is the garage, right? Yeah, the garage, 500 Only. square feet. 500? Yeah. And then we're going to do... 500 square feet? Yeah. At least that, but we're going to do the extension. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, add-on. That's where the big work is. Oh, Tear good. off the whole side of the house, build much mas grande. Mas grande? Mas grande. <laughs> okay. What you got going on today? Well, I'm going to go down and see if they got the track back on that skid steer. If they didn't do that, we got a lot of things riding on that thing today because it's it's got a lot of work to do. On this other job, it's holding up <coughs> everything. And we've got to do some work down here on this road, on this pad to get the driveway around. And we've got guys that got been knocked out with this heat. And so uh, we're running short today. So it's gonna be one of those days. abandon <clears throat> our, our hope was was to get that dock prepared for cement our wall and pour this driveway and come up the slope and then do a circular drive here and then come back later and go up the hill uh, with this being still down uh, I think we're gonna have to cut off our cement right here and right there get that 
cheated out. This rides in here. This is the actual tension on it riding on this thing. See that upper plate it's on? This grabs the, but this is what keeps it on. That's gotta go all the way around. So they gotta pull this thing in, get the belt on, and then extend it back out in tension. Oh boy. And a rock got pulled up in there. That's understandable, because that's gonna throw a belt out. This last two times since we got it back, we haven't been doing anything but pretty much straight forward and it's rolled off so that's just an issue and you know they either need to come rechange this out or get this thing tensioned better uh. yeah pablo <laughs> i'm thinking i'm here we've got this skid steer needs to go over to the other location, get that dirt off the pad into the dump trailer so that we can bring in dirt and make our, make our uh, pad for the garage, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's gotta get over there to do that. It even takes this less behind. I'm gonna suggest we cap this here, cap that, get the steel on the, on the on the dock so we just pour all of this to here mm -hmm. and then come back you know because this is he kept adding this anyway we were just going to go to right here anyway so i yeah, think for sure now we got to abandon the circle and switch to just getting that dock ready and this ready to uh, pour so i, I don't know <clears throat> this has to have some iron in it no trenches just, just um, lay it right bono's going to try to talk him into <laughs> Maybe doing hog wire on the out which, here, but out here. You know, too. every other job that I've done, the <laughs> bosses go. they got hog wire or yeah. welded wire to put yeah. in there because it's okay. simple, it's easy, saves labor and money. And you just set it out, <laughs> and you can set it on the driveway and that dock, right? This is laying on the dock. Do you well, see it laying out there? The There's two sheets, and then pour cement on it. And you have a little cement. It just lays out flat, and it gives something for the cement to set on. So it just, well then we'll pour it, and it'll be a little four inch cement slab. It's a problem for me. <laughs> what is it? What's the problem? The The beam up top? The the uh, yeah, wooden? You know, no more beam and 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 uh and the new yet? Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> the wooden one is what you talking about? Nah, it's okay. Don't be hating on my beams. Mother <laughs> I'll come over there. Hey introducing this is James, the new guy. We're gonna give him a really hard time today. He's, he's really good at doing one thing, and that's absolutely nothing.
right here? Yeah, yeah, that's all. Yep. Yeah. To make it easier, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I didn't. I don't have my bobcat with me. Yeah, I mean, I was. I was supposed to go to San Angelo first, but I came over here first. Yeah, gotcha. Well, let's get you on the road, man. Get, keep you moving. Yeah, just back up right here. I'll try to get it off as fast as possible. All right. And I hope you get the straps off, too. Um, that's going to be the rebar for the driveway coming up. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And then there's some stuff for railing that we're uh, getting as well. And also for the retaining wall that we're going to finish. And for the Franklin's house. Check this out. This is a uh, a fan. Can you feel that? I mean, you can feel it, right? My daughter gave me a pre-Father's Day uh, present because they didn't want their dad out here dying on the location. So this is kudos to them. And thank you, girls. I'm already using it. <laughs> That ain't bad, yeah, it's here and here. Uh, uh, let's go get some, uh, I got some bandage shit. Let's go clean it up. Do you see this? Uh, uh, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> my, Bill, Bill, put your head here. Come on. No, my daughter's got me this. That is not fair, man. <laughs> that with a cool tie? That's gonna be stolen later. <laughs> it's gonna be missing. Those are number three, sir. 
Those are for the boat dock. Is that an elevator? Uh, no, that's some scaffolding. Yeah, yeah they, it's, they have these little things. You see those little little steps? Yeah. You crank them and it raises up and then they run, they run these aluminum things across them. So dude, you, they're on it and they raise it up. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I got, I got four inches, four inches to spare. 